Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to another edition of Friday Reads. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. It's been a minute since I've done a Friday Reads, but um, the book I read for this week was a long one. And it took me a little bit, and it was really good, which is Rook. There we go. <laughs> By Jan St. James and features Mitch on the cover. Uh, this is the first project that she and I have worked on with one another and it is an MC story. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to read the back of the book and then jump in and say a few things about what I thought about it. It's a thin line between love and hate. Secrets. Every one of his brothers in the Blood Fury MC has them, including Rook, especially Rook. What he's done in his past, what he's involved in currently, what he still needs to do, even worse, what he's tempted to do with someone no one expects, least of all him. But resisting her is impossible, no matter how much he tries. Problem is, his club's on the verge of war, so she's either with the Fury or against them. If she's against them, she's against them all, including Rook, especially Rook, which will turn the thin line into an insurmountable wall dividing them forever. What I really liked a lot in this book, um, Rook is in an MC, and then Jet is a police officer. They're pretty much sworn enemies right from those two elements. Um, and they should hate each other and they do for a good portion of the book in some way but they're really trying to resist falling for one another which is easier said than done because no matter how much they try it just really doesn't work out for them and it happens um so i like that enemies to lovers aspect their push-pull dynamics um how straightforward and blunt they are. There's action and suspense and adventure and love all mixed in. So if you like those elements, there will be something in here for you. Um, I asked Jan a few questions about the book. So I'm gonna jump in and read those. My first question was, if you could only describe Brooke, Brooke in one word or phrase, would it be? what would it be? And she said, asshole. This is truly how I describe him. But if you don't want to want to use that, then, then hard on the outside and stumbled on the inside. Um, I don't know what one word I would use. Yeah, stubborn. I'll, I'll go with stubborn. <laughs> My favorite element of your story was the push-pull dynamic, dynamic between Rook and Jack. This one, this line in particular, addicts don't get sober by feeding their habit. Was that a pivotal, I really can't speak today. Was that a pivotal element to the story? Yes, I think it was one of them since Rook had convinced himself that he could shed his interest in Jet easily. But in truth, he was going about it in the wrong way. It was kind of inevitable that no matter how much they tried, they just couldn't resist one another, even when Jet's boss slash family member the works in the police department gave her an ultimatum um, and then his MC club also was against it when they both parties found out um, and it didn't really matter. Without giving too much away, which was your favorite scene to write and why? Their first sex scene because it was hate sex, which I love writing and I love the last thing Jet did before Rook walked out the door. Um, ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, there was a scene in particular where Rook helps one of Jet's family members that I really enjoyed. And they're just push-pull banter throughout the whole book in general I really liked. After readers finish Rook, what would you like them to take away? Love will find you when you least expect it. It may not be perfect, but it'll be worth it. That was definitely the case in this book. <laughs> so have you read Brook? and what'd you think about it? Make sure to stay tuned and subscribe because I'm going to be doing more Friday reads coming soon and 
have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs>